Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing five tips to get all your craft supplies into a small vehicle. Let's get into it. When you're setting up for a craft show, you have a ton of things to bring. You have your tables, you have chairs, you have your product, you have your displays, you have your tablecloths, you have your bags, you have your business cards. There are so many items to bring with you. Uh, before your craft, first craft show, I would highly recommend you know setting up a mock booth either in your garage, in your basement, in your front yard, in your backyard, somewhere where you mark out the space of what your booth is gonna be and set it up. One, it gives you a test trial to see, hey, do I have all the pieces I need? And then two, it lets you know, hey, do I really need all these things in my car? Then once you start putting the things in your car or as you're purchasing or accumulating the items, keep this list in mind. The first is that collapsible is key. You know, if you wanted to have bookcases in, as part of your display, find collapsible bookcases. The way that they work is that the shelves tilt forward and hook onto hooks. And then when you don't want them to be bookshelves anymore, you flap the shelves up and the sides fold in. This allows for a lot more space in your car. Um, same thing with your chairs. You know, having the umbrella lawn chairs, those take up less space than having a structured chair. Things like your tent. Do you have enough space in your car for a tent? Do you need a tent? Is it gonna be indoor, outdoor? If you have a tent, do you have your weights? All those sorts of things. And then making sure that within your car that the weight is evenly distributed, um, that is important as well. Also keep in mind, you know, how many people do you need to transport in your vehicle? If you have someone that's a child that's going with you, you need to make sure that you have a spot in the back seat. If you have another adult going with you, are they gonna sit in the back seat or are they gonna sit in the front seat? What is the most efficient way to use your vehicle? My second tip is to use bags and not bins. If you're using hard structure, if you're using hard structured bins like this, then it's going to be harder to you know, maximize all your spaces. That being said, you should have a combination of different things because you should be able to stack. So if you have a bunch of things that are fragile that you don't wanna break, maybe putting them in one of these bins like this um, or maybe one that has a lid is a good idea that you know, hey, this is gonna take up a lot of space, but it's stackable versus if the items were loose or in a bag that you couldn't stack them. So teach a zone and know your items. My third tip, if you are gonna use bins, is to use small bins so that they can fit in different nooks and crannies of your car. I have these bins from Costco. Um, they have lasted me since I first started doing shows, so about two years now. They are um, iris bins. You know, a couple of them are cracked on the lid, but again, it allows for stackability of smushable items without taking up too much space as like a regular large bin would take up. My fourth tip is to know your car. Know all the nooks and crannies. Do you have, you know, an indent in one side where something that can smush can go in that spot or something that is maybe round can go in that spot? You know, if you have the chairs down, make sure you put the stuff underneath behind the chair um, what am I trying to say? In the back seat, if you're putting your seats down, it might be a good idea to put the stuff in that spot on the floor before you put the seats down. Because sometimes once you put the seat down, the space gets tighter and then you can't get in on it from the side. Or maybe you need to use the long length of it. If your car doesn't have a hump in the middle, maybe that's where you put your chairs. That's where you put your tent. Even if you do have someone sitting in the back seat, if your car doesn't have a hump in the, um, the middle, in the back seat, then you could put your tent. Your child can put their feet on top of the tent. It's not a big deal. So just think of different combinations of how you can Tetris your stuff in. And then my fifth tip is just to know your limits, know your driving capabilities. Can you stack all the way to the ceilings? Can you drive with your car with just your mirrors? Or do you need to leave a gap? Do you need to leave your um, passenger rear um, window? open and unblocked so that you can see out that side. Know your path. Are you gonna be on major highways or are you just gonna be on a two lane road, you know, five miles from your house? Know your limits, know your car, know your driving capabilities because you definitely wanna be safe. Those are my five tips and tricks. 
but I also have a clip here um, pulling from the archives that I recorded about two years ago of me packing my car all the way up to the ceiling. Um, it was in my old car. I used to have a Prius. Now I have a uh, Lexus SUV. So I have a lot more space now, but um, I've definitely changed what it is that I bring. I used to only be able to bring two or three tables. Now I bring four tables. Um, so, you know, things change as they go and I just leave my tent in the car all the time because it doesn't take up that much space. There's a spot where it just lives in my back seat, and then I always have a tent. Um, I personally like having it, you know, I've gone to parties and we needed an extra tent or, you know, just at, out at the park or something and you want to have a tent with you. So I just always have my tent in my car, but that's just me and that's where I put it. Plus then it's not taking up space in my house. But that being said, enjoy this clip uh, that I recorded a while ago. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. You can see here how I use every inch of space. All this stuff in the bag on top is all uh, items that can be smushed. They have just uh, air packaging in them. And then on the sides here, you can see that I have my tables and bookcases stacked. And then the top bookcase is actually open with items inside so that it doesn't go onto the other side. Let me show you what I mean. You can see here that by having the top bookcase open, I can still have someone sit in the back seat without the items falling and hurting them. The seat goes all, all the way up to the ceiling. So if I take out this top bag here, and this is just a clear bag from Costco. As you can see here, I have all my bins bags stacked. Even the little bit of space underneath my chair is being used. And then that actually is a seat. 